As a photographer, capturing the perfect shot goes beyond just pressing the shutter button. It's about careful planning and preparation. But have you heard of the 90-10 rule in photography? The 90-10 rule suggests that 90% of a photographer's effort should be dedicated to research, planning, and preparation, while only 10% of the effort should be spent on the actual shooting. This concept emphasizes the significance of thorough preparation in achieving successful results in photography. Imagine the benefits of investing time and effort into research and preparation. You can be more efficient during the shoot, more creative in your approach, and achieve better results in your final images. It's a game changer that can elevate your photography to new heights. Well, in this video, we will delve into the concept of the 90-10 rule in photography and explore its significance in the field. We will discuss the importance of research and preparation, practical tips for effective planning, the role of shooting in the process, and how to strike the right balance between planning and spontaneity. My goal by the end of this video is to have you approaching your own photography sessions with this same mindset. And most of the examples I'll give in this video are related to portrait photography, but the concepts can be applied to all niches of photography. So let's dive in and uncover the power of the 90-10 rule in photography. Research and preparation are crucial in photography, accounting for 90% of a photographer's effort according to the 90-10 rule. Let me share some examples from my own experience to illustrate the importance of research and preparation in achieving successful results. Scouting locations is a key part of my research process. For example, when planning a portrait client shoot, you should make sure to visit the location beforehand to identify the best vantage points and plan your composition. I personally like to hike to different spots, take test shots, and observe the changing lighting conditions. Usually I use locations I've already photographed at or been at, so this saves time and I don't have to visit the location beforehand. This helps me determine the optimal shooting time, plan my gear accordingly, and visualize the final image in my mind. If you've never been to the location, you can also check out how it looks on Google Maps and identify any elements in the scene you could use as a background and as a compositional element. So when it comes to using Google Maps, I wanted to show you guys a quick way of how I like to use it for location scouting. So usually if I have a client session or if I'm going to be on a photography session just practicing my photography, I like to look at popular areas around me that are um, popular just places to like visit or hang out because usually those spots have good compositional elements I can use in my photos. So for example, spot that I went for a, a portrait session is near um, the coast of a beach city that we have uh, near where I live and specifically in an area that's pretty popular with a lot of restaurants and stuff like that. So I went there on Google Maps and then I kind of just find a spot that's really popular. So in this area, there's a bunch of like restaurants and bars and stuff uh, with buildings that have pretty cool designs. So what I just do is I go to Google Maps, I find an address near me and then I use the little person icon and I place them down somewhere. Then I actually look around um, at the area around me identifying potential compositional elements I can use. So I'll just say, for example, just to save some time, um, when I was looking through here, I identified this building and I really like the wall here, how it had that, um, let me get closer, how it has that brown and white kind of line in the middle to kind of like separate that. I really like the colors. And then I also noticed the stairs here. That was just nice white stairs. That'd be good leading lines. So also use that in the images. So when I had a lifestyle portrait session with my friend for some Instagram photos, I knew that this little location around here would be a good spot to leverage. And so here's examples of using that wall as shown um, on the Google Maps. Then we also use the staircase. And then uh, just the surrounding area um, surrounding rails around it as well. So by already kind of preparing and knowing what little location sets I wanted to use, I was able to show up to the um, the setting just more prepared and knowing what kind of elements in the setting were around there that we could leverage. Understanding lighting conditions is crucial for any type of photography. For instance, when shooting portraits, be sure to research the location's natural lighting conditions and plan your shoot accordingly. If shooting outdoors, consider the direction and intensity of the sunlight. For example, if you will be photographing in a setting that is exposed to bright sunlight, you can schedule the shoot around the golden hour time for warm, softer lighting. You can also bring reflectors or diffusers to modify the lighting to achieve the desired mood and atmosphere. Stunning the subject matter is also essential. For example, when doing a portrait session, it may sound silly, 
but I look up the client beforehand on social media to see if they've already had any professional pictures taken. Research what poses they like and the outfits they usually wear so you can get a sense of their style. I usually also ask them to send me photos of existing photos they've already had taken so I can take a look at this. By doing this, this will help you anticipate their movements and their experience with posing so you know how to approach the client communication side of things. Whether you need to be more hands-on with giving them posing guidance or just let them do their own thing. Planning for potential challenges is a critical part of preparation. For instance, when shooting an outdoor event, research the weather forecasts, access restrictions, and permit requirements. And a quick little story regarding permits and getting the necessary permissions. One time I had a portrait session at a school and uh, little did we know that we were shooting after hours and that when we were leaving the portrait session, they closed and locked all the gates. And so we weren't allowed to leave. Uh, actually, we couldn't drive out of the parking lot because all the gates were locked. So we had to go into the school and find somebody who worked there. And then they had to call somebody else to come open the gates. And it was just a whole mess. So pretty much my main takeaway from here is if you're shooting somewhere um, new, just make sure there's no permits or requirements or special access needed to shoot there or else um, you could get locked out or even worse, get in trouble with some authorities. You may also have backup locations in mind, carry rain gear and plan for contingencies such as sudden changes in weather or unexpected obstacles. This allows you to be prepared and adaptable during the shoot, ensuring that you can capture the best possible shots regardless of the challenges. Investing time and effort into research and preparation has proven to be invaluable, leading to improved efficiency during the shoot, increased creativity, and better results in the final images. One of the significant advantages of thorough preparation is improved efficiency during the shoot. When you have thoroughly researched and planned for your photo session, you arrive at the location relaxed and with a clear vision of what you want to achieve. You'll know the best angles, poses, and lighting setups to use because you've done, because you've done so much research, which saves time and allows you to focus on capturing the best and perfect shot. With a well thought out plan in place, you can work efficiently and effectively, ensuring that you capture the desired shots without wasting time or missing important moments. Another benefit of preparation is increased creativity. When you have thoroughly researched the subject and location, you are better equipped to think creatively and come up with unique ideas for poses, compositions, and lighting techniques. Instead of focusing so much on being at the actual shoot and figuring out what to do next because you've already done the research, it frees you up for these more creative uh, thinking uh, ideas and processes. You can experiment with different angles, perspectives, and poses, pushing the boundaries of your creativity and capturing more diverse and interesting shots. Proper preparation also allows you to tap into your artistic vision and express your creative ideas in the final images, resulting in more unique and compelling images. I found that when I'm not thinking so much about what to do next, I'm more in the moment, allowing me to kind of better connect with my subject and their personality, which allows me to capture that better on screen. Planning is a crucial aspect of successful portrait photography. And as a portrait photographer, I rely on several practical tips and techniques to ensure effective planning for my photo shoots. Here are some of the key planning techniques that I find invaluable. Before any photo shoot, create a shot list that outlines the specific poses, angles, and compositions that you want to capture. This helps you stay organized and ensures that you cover all the desired shots during the shoot. Also, discuss the shot list with your clients to gather their input and preferences, ensuring that their expectations are met. So when I'm creating my shot list before any session, I usually, um, well, I guess beforehand, I always kind of just, if I'm browsing Instagram or Pinterest or any other social media platform and I find a photo that I really like, I take a screenshot of it and I put it in just the notes app on my phone. So as you can see here, um, this uh, page is just showing a bunch of screenshots I have actually from my phone. And so it's kind of like an ongoing inspirational process. But then as we get closer, or if I have an actual shoot or session scheduled, um, then I'll narrow kind of what poses and maybe particular outfits to wear. And then that inspiration would also lead to what areas, maybe what location would work best. And then going back, I would look then on like Google Maps as mentioned earlier. And so kind of also on the left hand side, those notes are kind of just um, like poses or kind of like, a, like an outline of the session of kind of like the order of what photos to get 
Um, but yeah, from here, I also send it to the client. Like I send them the example images. I, I tell them to send me the outfits and whatnot. And we kind of collaborate on that process. And this is also really important to just make sure in terms of client communication and making them feel more comfortable. Um, but you know, this could also work as well. I know I'm mentioning a lot of portraits, but this could work as well for like product photography, headshot photography, um, landscapes or anything like that. Just the whole research process in general. Location scouting is essential for any photography session, especially when it comes to outdoor sessions or settings you've never been to. As mentioned, visit the location in advance to familiarize yourself with the surroundings, assess lighting conditions, and identify potential backdrops or interesting elements for the images. This will help you plan the best shooting spots, anticipate potential challenges, and make necessary arrangements such as obtaining permits or permissions. Composition and framing play a crucial role in creating visually appealing images. Plan ahead by considering various composition and framing options that will complement the subject and convey the desired mood or message you're trying to tell. You should also take into account the background, the lighting, and other elements in the frame to ensure a harmonious and balanced composition. Proper gear preparation is vital for a smooth and efficient photo shoot. Check and pack all the necessary gear, including camera bodies, lenses, flashes, batteries, memory cards, and other accessories well in advance. Be sure to also carry backups for critical gear and ensure that everything is clean, charged, and in good working condition. There's nothing more embarrassing than showing up to a photo session and then realizing you didn't charge your battery and having to tell the client you have to reschedule a shoot. Effective communication with the subject is essential for planning a successful session. Discuss the concept, wardrobe, and other details with the subject beforehand to ensure that they are comfortable and prepared for the shoot. Be sure to also provide guidance on posing and expressions during the session to achieve the desired results. Shooting is the exciting and dynamic part of photography, where the meticulous planning and preparation come to life. As a portrait photographer, I understand the significance of the actual shooting process, which constitutes 10% of the entire photography workflow. Here are some key aspects to consider during the shooting phase. Framing is a critical element in photography that involves composing the shot within the viewfinder or LCD screen. During the shoot, carefully consider the placement of the subject within the frame, paying attention to the rule of thirds, leading lines, and other compositional techniques to create visually appealing and balanced images. Also experiment with different angles, perspectives, and focal lengths to achieve the desired visual impact. While you plan the settings in advance during the preparation phase, the shooting process requires continuous adjustments based on the lighting conditions, subject movement, and other factors. You can fine tune settings such as aperture, shutter speed, ISO, white balance, and focus to achieve the desired exposure, depth of field, and sharpness. Being proficient with your camera settings also allows you to make quick adjustments on the fly and capture the best possible images. Portraits, which I shoot primarily, are all about capturing genuine emotions and expressions, but it also applies to other genres of photography. So during the shoot, I focus on creating a comfortable and relaxed environment for my subject, allowing their natural personality to shine through. You'll want to pay attention to their gestures, facial expressions, and interactions to capture candid and authentic moments that tell a compelling story. Timing is crucial, and you'll want to strive to capture the perfect moment that conveys the mood and message of the portrait and the individual. While planning and technical skills are important, intuition and creativity play a significant role during the shooting process. As a photographer, you'll want to rely on your artistic vision, creativity, and intuition to make split-second decisions, experiment with different ideas, and capture unique and compelling shots. You'll want to constantly be exploring new angles, trying out different poses, and experimenting with lighting to create images that are visually stunning and emotionally impactful. As a photographer, it's important to understand the delicate balance between careful planning and spontaneity in the photography process. While the 90-10 rule emphasizes the importance of thorough research and preparation, it's also essential to leave room for spontaneity and creativity during the shooting phase. Here's how I approach this balance. While planning is crucial for a successful photo shoot, it's important to be flexible and adaptable to different shooting situations. Sometimes unforeseen circumstances happen, you know, they may arise, such as changes in weather, unexpected lighting conditions, or last minute changes in the location, or subjects availability. In such situations, you'll need to adjust your plans and come up with creative solutions on the spot. This flexibility allows you to adapt to changing situations and capture unique and spontaneous shots that may not have been part of the original plan. 
Spontaneity is a key element in capturing genuine and authentic moments in portrait photography and other genres. While you plan the composition, lighting, and other technical aspects, you should also encourage spontaneity during the shoot. Personally, I allow my subject to express themselves naturally, capturing their candid emotions and interactions. Intuition and creativity play a vital role during the shooting process. While planning provides a solid foundation, it's important to trust your artistic vision and creative instincts. Listen to your intuition, try out new ideas, and take risks to capture shots that are visually stunning and emotionally impactful. This spontaneity and creativity add an element of surprise and excitement to the shoot, resulting in images that stand out and tell a compelling story. Balancing planning and spontaneity is an ongoing process that requires experience, skill, and adaptability. It's important to strike the right balance between the two where planning provides structure and direction, while spontaneity allows for creative exploration and artistic expression. By being open to new ideas, embracing spontaneity, and trusting your creative instincts, you can capture images that are a perfect blend of careful planning and creative spontaneity. In conclusion, the 90-10 rule in photography emphasizes the significance of research, preparation, and planning in achieving successful results in your photography sessions. There are research and preparation, including location scouting, understanding lighting conditions, studying the subject matter, and planning for potential challenges can greatly improve the efficiency and creativity of the photo shoot, leading to better results in your final images. However, it's also important to strike a balance between planning and spontaneity during the shooting process. Embracing spontaneity, trusting intuition and creativity, and finding the right balance between planning and spontaneity allows for capturing genuine and authentic moments that make for visually compelling and emotionally impactful images. By following the 90-10 rule and finding the right balance for yourself between planning and spontaneity, you'll be able to create images that are a perfect blend between careful preparation and artistic expression, resulting in successful outcomes in your photography. Thanks for watching.